Let's bring in uh, a very smart guy um, who does Republican polling. Um, Neil Newhouse is coming to us from Alexandria, Virginia. He's a partner in public opinion strategy, should you want to hire him. Um, okay, now, the Cook people, you know the Cook Report, they, they track all the races around uh, the country. They still say the Democrats have the advantage in the upcoming midterms, particularly in the House of Representatives. Do you subscribe to that? Well, hey, Bill, I think you raised some really interesting points in terms of what this Kavanaugh hearing has done. So let me back up one second. We've been we were tracking as many as 25 or 30 races on any given night, you know, doing polling across the country. And what we've seen since the spring is a significant Democratic advantage in terms of campaign interest. We saw that in the special elections, and we've continued to see it in, in all of our polling data, um, where when voters are asked to rate on, for instance, a one to 10 scale, how interested they are in the campaign, um, Democrats are about 15 points higher than Republicans. And, you know, we, we keep talking about how that, you know, it should close by the time we get to election day, but what we had not seen it close until last week. Um, in the polling we've done over the weekend, and that's, you know, probably 20, a good 20, 25 surveys, we've seen almost in every one of them Republican interest increasing and matching Democratic interest across the country in every, everything from state legislative races to congressional to Senate races. Um, that's going to have a significant impact on those very Senate races you talked about, Bill. Um, I mean, in fact, in, in fact, Heidi Heitkamp today said she was voting no on Judge Kavanaugh. Right. Don't you think that's, I mean, that's the end of her campaign right I there? Do. I do. I think she's through. I think she's I, done. I think... We have today is 33 days out from the campaign. Um, there's a lot that's going to happen, but this has kind of this has begun to even the playing field, and uh, and almost an early October surprise, so that it gives our guys on you know, our Republican candidates a lot more um, a lot more of an even field to run on for the last month of the campaign. Okay, um, so I see it this way that the Democrats were energized in the spring, as you said, because of the hate Trump movement. All right. Yeah. So they're energized to vote against Trump by electing uh, Congress people and senators. The Republicans like Trump, um, all the polls say, they, you know, there wasn't a, a motivation. But now they're so angry. The Republican voters so angry about the displays by the Democratic Party against Judge Kavanaugh that their anger is matching the hate Trump anger. Is that what it is? That's, that's exactly right. I mean, and, and what we had seen before was we'd seen a Republican electorate that was um, lethargic. They, they weren't they weren't complacent, but they were lethargic. They you know this, they weren't really motivated. And now you're beginning to see that motivation. And I mean, it, I got to tell you, Bill, it was um, the movement happened practically overnight. Yeah, I, very quick. And uh, the NPR poll picked it up. You know, some of the polling, as I said yesterday um, on this broadcast, is dishonest. I mean, they, they ask more Democrats than Republicans um, about a question. And I always look at the methodology. But what your polling is, is, is not that. You're asking self-proclaimed Democrats and self-proclaimed Republicans. So it doesn't matter what the percentage of. You're just yeah. asking them in a polling situation. But let me go back to this Cook report. This has been used by the media, and obviously the media in America wants the Democrats to take back Congress, no doubt about it. It's being used by the media to say, oh, no, 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 uh, Democrats are still more enthused, and, and it looks like uh, more Democrats and Republicans will be elected in the House, shifting that body. Do they have an agenda, in your opinion, or is, that, is it still the Democrats have an edge? No, I mean, I think... Um Listen, Charlie Cook's an old friend. They don't have an agenda. And if anything, he's probably he's probably cautious. But I think there's also um, he's he, there's a lag between what he um, what he writes and what happens. OK, so and you so, think there's a lag between the numbers that Cook is getting and, and what's really happening on the street? Yeah. Now, and I, I think you're going to see that over the next 10 days or so. 
Kavanaugh will most likely be confirmed, so it'll be a, a win for the Republicans. Is it possible that the Republican voter then will go back into uh, his or her lethargy? We'll say, okay, we won. Uh, I don't really have to go out. Or is that anger going to hold for 33 days? 33 days is a long time, Bill. Um, we need it to continue. We need that sustained. Uh, it's that's the fear. The fear is that there's voters have to understand that they're really that Democratic control of the House is at stake in this election. Absolutely. And, and if Democrats take control, they're going to move the country toward more socialist policies. Uh, you know, uh, Medicare for all policies. It is um, it, it potential for disaster. And it's not over with the Kavanaugh nomination. It's over on Election Day of this year when, you know, our, our voters are going to get to the polls. Yeah. Um, I expect to see more Me Too stuff, not against Kavanaugh, or maybe maybe they'll continue to do it. But once he's in, he's in, unless there is a real smoking gun so they could impeach him. But I expect to see this movement. It would be interesting to know how Americans view this movement that basically says due process is not important anymore in America. What's important is righting historical wrongs against abused women. And that we're not going to put up with it, me too, and time's up. We're not going to do that. And we're going to believe the survivors or, you know, whatever word they're using that day. And we don't care if there's no corroboration. We don't care about it. Would it be wise for Republicans who've been terrified of Me Too? Republicans are terrified of that movement to basically take them on at this point. I'm not sure you take them on. I think I think voters feel for both Kavanaugh, uh, for both sides in this in this in this uh, controversy, but a plurality of Americans believe that they they agree this has been a smear campaign against Judge Kavanaugh. That this is no way to to, to run a, a nomination process. But neither side comes out of this uh, all that well. Okay. Um, women, the media reports, are going to the Democrats, especially independent women, far more than the Republicans. Will that trend change? Um, it'll be... We, we, you, you can't look at women as, as like a monolith, obviously. Um, Lower-educated women are significantly more supportive of Trump more support of the Republican Party, higher educated women are on the other side. Uh, there will still be a significant, when the, when the exit poll comes in from this election, there'll be a significant gender gap uh, with men supporting Republicans and women supporting you, you, That'll hold. You expect that to hold. Absolutely. I do too. Uh, although if Donald Trump would just kind of not be provocative for the next 30 days, <laughs> I... I, I, I <laughs> My That's, whole body rebelled. <laughs> Excuse me. He will I know, continue. Even you're choking on that, Bill. I know. I know. But um, it'll be, to me, I, I said to my audience, Neil, just so you know, I've always been a registered independent, and now I can't support the Democratic Party because not one Democrat, not one, in a high-profile position supported due process. Not one. And I cannot, I cannot vote for a party that believes due process and the presumption of innocence is obsolete and doesn't matter. And that's, the Democratic Party has come down on the side that presumption of innocence is not important. What's important is the mob mentality of me too and hang them if there's an allegation. You get the rope right away. Now, I can't. I, as an American, I cannot support that. And I, that would be a theme that if I were a Republican running... I would get involved with that theme because I think that resonates. Last word. I I totally agree. Um, listen, here's the bottom line in this is this whole ca the Kavanaugh hearings and the testimony last week is going to give our Senate candidates a um, a significant boost. The question is whether it can last for 33 days. Yes, we can sustain that. And right. um, this is. Both the House and the Senate are up for grabs, and, and Bill, it is so important our, our people get out to vote because there is so much at stake in this election. All right. Thank you, Neil. We really appreciate your time. We know you're very busy and uh, very helpful to us to have you on.